Hey everyone, I'm Aaron Moon. I'm a manager on our data platform services team here at Velocio. Hello, I'm Jonathan. I'm a data engineer, also on the data platform services team. And uh, we're here to talk to you today about the uh, deprecation of a tool called Data Export Service, or DES. Uh, this is a tool that uh, many of our Dynamics 365 uh, customer engagement customers are going to be uh, familiar with. It's a, it's a tool that you uh, turn on and it will export out data that's in your Dynamics 365 environment and place it out into Azure. Uh, that uh, sort of makes it really easy for you to consume uh, and report off of as a kind of separated uh, database instance. And uh, Microsoft has announced that this tool is being deprecated, uh, but they are providing a path forward to use a new tool that's underneath uh, Azure called Azure Synapse and specifically uh, Azure Synapse Link. Um, and Jonathan is gonna explain a little bit more about what that means uh, and how uh, our clients, our customers um, can begin to plan and, and prepare for this, this deprecation. Sure, thank you, Aaron. So if you can see on, on this screen, we're looking at a very high level overview of going from your data source, which is Dynamics 365 and the Dataverse backend over to some other data integration, data repository, data visualization like Power BI. And so currently if you have data export service, uh, you're syncing up data to something like Azure SQL database. And what Microsoft is recommending before November 2022 is that you switch over to the Synapse link for Dataverse. The, the difference is that the target is gonna be either the data lake, Azure Data Lake Gen 2, or uh, the data lake with Azure Synapse Analytics. And this is just a way to unlock um, limitless analytical capabilities. Built into Synapse is the features of Azure Data Factory, so you have pipelines, you have integration, you can write in uh, Spark and T-SQL, you can monitor and uh, have access management there. But really, it, it is um, analytics at scale. It's really cheap storage with the lake, really cheap and scale out uh, compute in Synapse. So, uh, but to do this, it sounds great. And how do we actually do this? Well, we would need a plan, right, with any project. And so if you were to migrate from DES to the link, uh, it's already June uh, as of this recording. And so there's not much time left, but you can start now to begin a plan, um, assess how this is gonna impact your business, see how many things are in scope, what will be affected, Depends on how many integrations there are, how many people are using the data that's downstream. Uh, define what are the dependencies, who are the owners, right? Uh, so you can alloc allocate the resources and, and the budget accordingly, have the right timeline for this, and come up with a testing strategy. You know, who's gonna do the UAT, who's gonna do the non-functional testing, uh, how are we gonna to communicate to the users? Those are who the data consumers. Uh, how, how are you doing on the major milestones? Come up with a go live strategy, right? Um, when do you cut over? How long do you go in parallel with DES and the link? And finally pilot. Uh, test out everything end to end before you make the, the full cut over and, and see how it goes. And to that end, uh, Velocio is here, standing by to assist you in these efforts. And we know it, in some cases it could be a huge lift. In some cases it could be not that much, but in either way, we're here to help. That's right. Thanks, Jonathan. So we are offering a uh, assessment that you can work with us today. Uh, just uh, reach out uh, to your client services manager um, and, and we can begin that process with you of planning how to use 
uh, the Synapse link and replace the data export service. Thanks so much.